So if you use a lapel microphone or a shotgun microphone for your videos, I bet sometimes you wish your vocals just sounded a bit better. Well, I'm guessing you're not an audio expert, right? Well, if that's the case, you're gonna love our new plugins for Final Cut Pro and Premiere. They take your audio from sounding like this to this, instantly cleaner and crisper. Simply drag and drop onto any microphone that you might be using in a whole host of scenarios. Let me show you how they work. Okay, so first of all, let's test the audio plugins on the Joby Wavo. Now, this is one of those really small microphones that you can get for your camera. And whilst it sounds pretty good, it is a little bit flat. So now let's drag and drop our indoor plugin medium onto this microphone. Okay, so now we have the plugin turned on. How does this sound? It sounds much better, doesn't it? And it really doesn't require any audio knowledge at all. You simply drag and drop in Final Cut or Premiere, and this will turn that flat audio into this. Okay, next up, what about lavaliers? Well, this is our very expensive Sennheiser lavalier paired with our Rode Wireless Go. And this is what we use a lot on our channel for our studio work here. And as you can hear, it sounds really good straight out of the microphone. But with our plugins, you can make good audio sound even better. So let's do a drag and drop on this. Okay, so now you're listening to me with the Lavalier plugin dragged and dropped on top of the audio. And as you can hear, it just makes good audio sound great. It's very subtle because, you know, you don't want your audio to sound completely different. You just want it to sound better. And this is exactly what the Lavalier plugin does. Drag it on top of any Lavalier or small microphone audio and your audio will sound even better just like this. Next, let's do some outdoor tests. So next up, we're outdoors and we're using the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Now this is a really popular microphone with creators, but as you can hear, it sounds a little bit flat. So let's drag and drop the plugin on now. Okay, so we've now got the plugin turned on and you should hear it sounds much richer, a little bit deeper and gets rid of a little bit of that background noise. Let me know what you think. So we have these plugins available for both Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple's Final Cut. And I'm gonna show you how to install them on Final Cut Pro first and then Adobe Premiere Pro. But check out the timestamps in the description below if you wanna jump ahead to any point. So let's get into it. So first of all, when you've downloaded, please save the folder to a secure location on your computer or hard drive. And I recommend saving a copy just in case. Next, locate the following folder within your computer by doing the following. Go to Finder and then hold Option and press Go on the menu at the top screen. Click Library, Application Support, go to Pro Apps and then Effects Presets. Now the next bit is really important. Select the presets within the folder and then copy and paste them into the Effects Presets folder. And then we start Final Cut Pro. They will then appear in your installed Audio Effects Presets panel within Final Cut Pro. Then just drag and drop the desired preset onto your clip and that's it. Simple. Okay, so when you download the plugin, please save the folder to a secure location on your computer or hard drive. And I definitely recommend making a backup copy just in case. Now within Premiere Pro, open up the effects window on the right hand side and then right click anywhere in the preset window and select import presets. Then select the desired preset and then click open. The presets will then appear in your installed audio effects presets panel within Adobe Premiere Pro. Then once they're in Adobe Premiere Pro, simply drag and drop the preset onto any vocal clip on your timeline and that's it, it's so simple. So if you wanna pick up these plugins, I'll put a link in the description below and I'll also make it the pinned comment on YouTube. Now I really hope you enjoy using these, they're so easy to use and the great thing about them is they almost make a standardized version of your audio for every video that you produce. So if you want your audio to be the same across all of your videos on YouTube or your business channels, these are the plugins to get. So I hope that's helped. Give us some feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.